Hey, how's it going, guys? Today I'm going to be doing a real quick review of the Delta 6 Game Gun. Now, um, as you can tell, I don't have my chroma screen set up or any of that good stuff. I just want to sort of show exactly how this gun works without any editing and just sort of speak freely about the uh, the controller in general. Now, when I... Uh, where do I begin? Um, I guess probably the best part of the Delta 6 is using it with a VR headset. When you use the Delta 6 with a VR headset, you'll set the gun's receiver to PC mode, and that changes the, the signal that comes out of the gun to where all of the buttons are essentially keyboard presses, and the movement of the gun itself controls your, your PC's mouse pointer. Now, this works great because you plug it in and it should work with just about any game, regardless of if you have a VR headset or not. You just, just PC in general. You, you plug it up and it, it works as a mouse and keyboard keys. So you, you plug it in and you load up your game, you map your keys and you're good to play. Now, when you're, when you're using this in PC mode, there's a dial up top here. Now, this dial has numbers on it that go from number one to number six. And when in PC mode, the numbers one through six are your sensitivity settings of the, the 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 gun itself. So when you have this set to number one, it's the lowest sensitivity you have. So moving like so causes very little movement in game. If you crank it all the way up to number six, if I move, you know, with a fair amount with a fair range of motion, your in-game character will be spinning in, in complete circles with, you know, much, much less delta movement. Now, when you play with a VR headset, I recommend using mode 1, or, or, or sensitivity 2, rather, on the dial, because this will allow you to physically spin a whole 360 in the room, and have your in-game character spin a whole 360 as well. Now, to control your, your walking and, and your movement in-game, there's a thumbstick right here, so you just move it around as you normally would, and that's your walking. To reload, there's an infrared sensor down here on the bottom. You just cover it with your hand, or tap the ammo magazine, and it'll perform a reload action in the game. You know, there's there's also a button uh, right here on the side. I'm sorry, this is the, the melee button down here. But there you have the face buttons on the side that are A, B, X, Y when, when playing in, in console mode. And these, the, the reload button where, where it would normally be on, on the face buttons of a controller is also here. So say if you don't want to have to take your hand off and, and tap the ammo magazine, you could just reach and, and reload with your thumb right click. So to get started, you, you basically just power on the delta, you hold the calibration button on the side here, you point out the middle of your screen, and when you release the button, your your in-game character will be aiming where you're aiming with the gun. So when you're playing in a VR with, with a VR headset, you're you're aiming with the gun. Like it's it's really cool. And on on the PC, um, you'll use um I, I guess you'll sort of use a, a um like a ratcheting system of most uh, uh, of movement to to use your um to to go around uh. Tor uh I'm sorry, to, to turn corners and such. That way, um, cause, you know, you're, if you turn sideways in your in-game character sideways, now the screen's obviously sideways to you as well. Um, so you'll, you'll have to hold the calibration button, turn a corner, recenter right quick, and, and you'll be good to go again. Now, once you've, once you've done that for a little bit, you sort of get used to it and it becomes second nature. Now, when playing in a VR headset, obviously the only time you'd need to do that is if you want to physically straighten where, where you're standing and, and holding the gun. So if you move it around all, all crazy-like or, or pass it to your friend and, and now it's not calibrated exactly how you originally got it calibrated, you just hold the button down and, and quickly realign. I mean, it, it takes like a second. You'll, you'll see here shortly whenever I jump in game. Because um, for this this review, I'm actually playing on a uh, a small computer monitor, so um, it it's going to be a little bit hard for me to see some of these guys. So yeah, just uh, anyways, um, back to the uh, the review. Now, when using this on the console mode, um, your your the way Delta works is you hold it towards the center of the screen, 
you calibrate, and if you slightly move off to, to the left, your in-game character will slightly be turning to the left. If you move off to the right, your in-game character will slightly keep turning to the right. Once you move back to the center, your character stops turning. So this way, if you want to turn a corner, you just hold the delta, he keeps spinning, he keeps spinning, he keeps spinning, and then when you want him to stop, you pull back center. So to aim, you just sort of pull around and then aim back to the center and begin firing. And, you know, he'll be aiming at the center of your screen still. Um, how you choose to play with this on, on your PC all comes down to personal preference. However, when playing on the console, um, for your, your average user, you would want to be playing with it on the Xbox mode with the, uh, the continuous motion. So, um, you can play with it with the, uh, the PC mode on consoles. Um, but the, the setup's gonna be, um, uh, a, a really, really ad advanced and from a, a more, um, tech savvy and computer, computer savvy user. There's guides on the Cronus Max forums and on their website that show you how to set up a mouse and keyboard for the console. So you'll follow that guide, and then you'll need to get your Delta 6 tuned accordingly. So you'll set up all the buttons and then do your mouse layout for the specific game and your, your PC. And that, that'll that require you having the Delta connected to the PC, the PC connected to the Cronus, and then the Cronus connected to your console, running through everything in a chain, essentially. Um, now... Uh, I guess I skipped over, I guess, my two favorite things about the uh, the Delta is if you notice, there's a little black shiny panel here. This is actually another sensor where if you hold your face over it like so and you aim, your in-game character actually aims. And then if you notice on the bottom here, where's the plug? Oh, it's right here. You could plug in the uh, the stock of the weapon. And this piece right here is actually a recoil hammer that makes your stock actuate in and out so it'll be buttoned up against your shoulder like a real gun you know you'll you'll be firing away and it's over here like hit, hitting your shoulder um it, it's it's really cool when you're um w w when you're when you're playing in a vr headset you you'll want to sort of get your cords organized together so you're not you know stepping on stuff and then messing it up so I guess that's sort of one of the downfalls with VR in general, but um, you can always mount like a, a hook up top in the ceiling and run your cables up. That way you're you're not standing on anything. Um, so I guess let's go ahead and get the uh, the gun turned on and jump into a game, and I'll show you all how it responds and and how it works. And um, you know I'll, I'll show you all the the difference on PC mode with the uh, the sensitivity settings here. So let's go ahead and get the gun turned on. I'm going to aim towards the center of my screen. Hold the calibration button. The gun vibrated and I can now release the button. So I'm going to have two friendly bots, five enemy bots. I'm going to start the match. Now I took off the timer and the kill limit to just sort of show the movement of the Delta itself. Now, generally, I like using this in campaign modes and just story mode in general, and I, I tend to stay away from the competitive multiplayer with it, just because those guys, um, they're, they're, <laughs> they're, they're out there trying to compete, and I'm trying to have fun with my immersive gaming experience. So, let's go ahead and auto-assign, pick our loadout, and when we jump in game here, about five seconds now, six, now five seconds. All right, as you can see, whenever I aim over the site, the in-game character aims over the site. Now the ratcheting that I was talking about, if you notice whenever I move left, he looks left. Whenever I move back right, he moves back right. So to align that back, I'll turn the corner over here, hold the button real fast, release it, and now I'm good to go again. So it's just a matter of of learning to use the uh, the the button to your advantage. Oh, I see someone. I'm just gonna run around a little bit and just. Oh, I'm getting shot at. Where are they? Oh, I didn't see him. I saw him right there at the very end, but I guess that's too late at that point. Okay, so let me move this dial all the way to. Sensitivity number one, which is the absolute lowest sensitivity. 
Now, you can also go into the game and into the game settings, adjust the mouse sensitivity further to, I guess, you know, more fine-tune the feel of your gun. But you you have the, uh... Sorry, I had to get him before he got me. Ah! Okay, so, sensitivity 1, you notice my slight movements are giving me slight movements in-game. Now, as soon as I bump this to sensitivity 6 on the dial, you notice how my slight movements are now giving me much, much more exaggerated in-game movements. It's it's much much more sensitive. So it, it's all a matter of tuning the uh, the dial to what what feels good to you and what you like, what you personally like playing with. Ah! Oh man, they're mad. But I mean it it just provides a gaming experience like no other. It's 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 a whole lot of fun. I mean oh oh I really don't know why I didn't shoot at that guy. I just sort of locked up and panicked. <laughs> I was thinking about what I was gonna say to y'all. Um anyway, this the the experience is just so fun, it, it's really immersive. I mean it's it it's something else. And then using this with a VR headset, it's I mean you're Again, you're like in the game shooting at people. Oh, where are they? Oh, they're behind me. Oh, he got me. See, I had the sensitivity on number two. I was trying to have real nice, slow, precise movements, but that's obviously not working out whenever it comes down to uh, turning around real quick and getting the guy who's shooting at me from behind. So, let's see. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's another one on my side. Oh, he's behind me now. <laughs> oh man. All right, let's go. We got we got to get some. Oh, he's behind us. Oh, I couldn't get him. It's okay. Ah, one over there off to my right. Oh, I see one over there. Where'd he go? Come on, guy. Oh. Let's see, where'd he go? I guess he went up. Oh, he's right here. Got him. Go ahead and realign. Oh, there's one. Oh, he's jumping around on me. Y'all see that? I think I ran through all my ammo. Oh, man, I need, I need to get out of here. I got a pistol. Oh, I hate trying to use this thing with a pistol. It just feels so wrong holding a rifle and firing a pistol in the game. Ah, ah! <laughs> Anyways, I mean, y'all, y'all see how it responds. It's, it works really well whenever I'm actually trying to get some kills. I mean, I'm getting some kills. It, it aims where you want it to, and it, it's just, it, it's a whole lot of fun. Like, it, it really is. I mean, there's, there's, I, I've looked around on the internet, and yeah, I've seen some bad reviews on it. And a whole lot of it seems to be people that pulled it out of the box and they sort of, I guess they, they haven't taken the time to get used to the gun itself and they, they didn't go into it with an open mind and it, they're, I, I guess they're just not happy with it in general because it's not what they specifically wanted. Um, like I really like this thing. It, it, it works great. Um, I mean, with, with the VR headset, that's hands down the, the best gaming like I've ever had like you you put on the headset you use this gun it feels like you're somewhere else running around killing people like it's it's so much fun like it's as awful as it sounds like it's so fun <laughs> um I, I I I mean like it's it's an awesome gun <laughs> it, it works well on, on just about anything 
Um, again, back to using it on consoles when, when you use it with the Cronus Max. There's, there's sensitivity settings that you can download. Wow, that guy didn't even see me. Um, <laughs> there, there's sensitivity settings that you can download. You can use it with game packs and, and have controller mods running through the Cronus Max with this. So, you know, you could be having full auto shotguns with the jitter mod and, 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 and stuff like that. It, it's, it's awesome. Um, I, I, I mean, it's, it's, it's a really good product. It's, I, I hope that this, you know, sort of helped demonstrate you know, what, what the gun does, how it works, how it responds. And I, you know, I, I really hope that this sort of, uh, you know, per persuades you to pick one up. <laughs> um, if there's any other questions you have about the Delta, you know, leave them in the comments below. Um, as always, like this video if you've liked it, and please subscribe if you'd like to view more of these.